Welcome to Toronto Thank and you. congratulations on this unbelievable film and the experience. And Anna, I just want to start with you. You write it, you write a story, gets turned into a book, uh, and then poof, like, oh my God, <laughs> the, the attention on this is insane. Have you, has this sunk in yet? <laughs> um, I don't think so, I guess. Like it felt like, because even when it was on Wattpad and just contained there, it still was constant like comments and messages and stuff. So then when it became a book, it just became a little bit more and then a little bit more and then now, I don't know. I feel like I don't really want to take a step back and really think of it. Otherwise, yeah. it would probably freak me out. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. I want to know your reaction. Um, Justine, let's start with you. When you initially got the script, the story, what was your initial reaction to it? I can't remember because I think I read it on a plane. This was one of the first things I, one of the only things I auditioned for without reading the script first because I always like to read the script first. It's because I went for another character. I originally auditioned for Molly. Okay. Um, because when they were casting for Tessa, I think I was unavailable because the shooting dates were like earlier and mm -hmm. anyway. Uh, and so I did an audition for Molly. I had a call back. I got a call saying, do you want to come and meet for Tessa? I got on a plane. Then I read the script on the plane. Yeah. And what did I think? <laughs> well, it obviously um, grabbed you. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I just, I think I just thought it was a, it was a good story. And I feel like with these sorts of things where you have, I hate the word good girl, but when yeah. you have like a good girl, there's this tendency for her to be like a caricature. Mm -hmm. And so I read it and I really wanted to make sure that she wasn't played that way and she yeah. was more three dimensional. And so that's why I wanted to be the one to do it. And here, how about, how about for you? Because, you know, this is a brooding guy. He's got some, well, the bad guy in a way, but not really, you know? He's got a lot of heart. There's there's potential with him. Yeah. How did you connect with him? I just love the the, the, the complexity of the character um, and the, the time in which I had on screen to slowly reveal that to the audience. Um, the I'm definitely going to hope these are in shot when I say bad boy. Um, <laughs> pers persona is, yeah. is yeah. definitely, I don't want to say justified, but like it, it's fun to be, it's fun and interesting to be able to kind of try and explain why he is that way. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I say, the complexity of a character like that and, and being able to slowly reveal why they are how they are to the audience is great for an actor. Yeah. And how much did you love having these two as your leads? Um, I loved it. I mean, I <laughs> knew pretty much immediately that they should be cast. So the further we got into filming, the more it just validated what I felt and that gut feeling from the first day. Yeah, and watching your characters come to life, you know, amazing. Yeah, yeah. I felt like, I don't, during filming I was so deep in the technical parts of everything that I, again, feel like I didn't have the time to just sit back and be like, wow, we're making a movie. It was more like, yeah. wow, this should be there. Her hair is there. Or that, like, <laughs> just random stuff. Yeah. But overall, it's been an amazing experience to have something that so many of my readers have been waiting for for so long. Yeah. Okay, when did you guys know you clicked? Because, listen, you know, you get on set, sometimes chemistry, it's like, oh, really? I got to kiss this guy? Like, oh. <laughs> but it, hey, you fooled us really well. If you didn't like each other, I'll have yeah. to tell you. But when did you know you clicked? <laughs> Not, well, we've when all, did we click? We've always, we've always got on, yeah. yeah. Um, we met like a week before filming know. and just like... <laughs> I don't know. It was, know. It was just when always. Did we click? She didn't do anything to. She didn't <laughs> do anything to annoy me. So like. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I just think. Um, I think she's obviously an excellent actor. And, oh, shucks. Um, well, you no, both I, are. I just think doing doing those you know doing those scenes with someone so professional and, and we had huge rehearsal time and a great acting coach. It didn't feel at all you know awkward or weird. It was just a job that we were both. Very willing to do. The the uh, attention for this is, is is extraordinary. Are you guys ready for the attention that you're going to get for it? Does is there any way to prepare for something like that? Just I, I don't I don't think so. I think you just you know stay grounded, take it one day at a time, appreciate the good things, don't dwell on the bad things. Yeah. But I don't think you can be prepared in yeah. general. How about think, you, Joseph? I think my answer is yes and no. I mean, to a to a certain extent, you can never be fully prepared for something when you don't know what it's going to be. Because I don't know what it's going to be like yeah. when it films out. Yeah. Um, I mean, but also, we were very lucky that we got, I don't want to say warning, but we Anna let us know the extent of what this film might be yeah, so the popularity yeah yeah so I feel like I've had a little bit of time to mentally prepare for it but at the same time who knows 
Yeah, well, I think uh, you guys are going to be catapulted into uh, the stratosphere because of this film, and uh, well-deserved. Congratulations, and uh, I will be talking to you for the, you know, the sequels, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for your time. You. I appreciate it. Thank Thank you. Great, you. thanks, guys.